Hi there, Don Torres here with Friends of the Boundary Waters Wilderness. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about cooking in the Boundary Waters. Cooking and eating is a big part of any Boundary Waters trip. If you're going on your first trip or introducing people to the wilderness, food is particularly important. Those tasty filling meals at the end of the day are huge for morale and sometimes what people remember the most. Today I'm going to show you how to make some delicious one-pot wonders that are both easy and after a solid day of paddling and portaging will taste better than anything served in the best restaurants in Manhattan. For this demonstration we're going to use a stove. While you can cook on a fire, stoves are less impactful, easier, and don't blacken your pots with soot or creosote. The basic ingredients behind a one-pot wonder are simple. Grain, protein, vegetable, slice the cheese on top. To start, I'm gonna do a basic couscous meal for two. The most involved part of this meal is measuring the ingredients and boiling water. It's that simple. Add about three cups of water, a packet of dehydrated or freeze-dried ground beef, and about a quarter cup of dehydrated vegetables. A nice vegan meat substitute is textured vegetable protein, or TVP, which takes on almost any flavor and is easy to find. Let this boil for about 10 minutes to rehydrate everything. Add one and a half cups of couscous, stir, cover, and remove the pot from the heat. Let it sit for five minutes so that all the water gets absorbed. After you've dished it out, slice off a piece of cheese and eat, and be sure to add any spices you like. Another easy one pot wonder is beans and rice. This meal is nutritious, loaded with protein, and fills you up as one of the best things you can cook on the trail. Again, here's how you make it for two people. Fill your pot with four and a half cups of water and one cup of rice. If you're using dehydrated hamburger or a meat substitute like textured vegetable protein, put that in now too. For this particular recipe, we're gonna add the meat at the end. Once the water boils, bring it down and simmer until the rice is cooked, about 10 minutes. Finally, add one cup of dehydrated beans and some taco seasoning. Stir, cover, and remove from the heat. You can find a variety of these in most grocery stores, online, or at your local outdoor shop. To top it off, I'm gonna cut up some summer sausage and stir it in right before I serve. Also, because vacuum sealed cheese can stay good for weeks without refrigeration, I'm gonna slice up some cheese to go with the meal. The part of eating no one likes is cleaning up and doing the dishes. To maintain the wilderness character of the Boundary Waters, there are guidelines for how to properly do your dishes. The one thing you don't do is wash the dishes directly in the water. Instead, scrape or lick the pot clean, and if you can't eat anymore, pack the uneaten food in a trash bag. Using a collapsible sink, gather water, and with a minimal amount of biodegradable soap, clean your pots and dishes. Be sure to dispose of the water at least 200 feet from the shore. 